Okay, so I did finish putting the coolant reservoir, reservoir part on the car. I did do a video for some reason. It is my first time I go live, so I'm not really sure how to work it. I thought it was just press a button and it would just um, do what it had to do. But anyway, I managed to put it. All it takes is, again, this is a 2011 BMW 335 i convertible and parts are very different than any car remember if you are going to get this piece make sure that you get the piece that ends with 515 they do have a 516 and it's not the right part it just does not fit so all you have to do is just replace this hose replace the one below and there's a sensor on the bottom. This car has sensors for everything. There's a sensor on the bottom. And then there's a little uh, spot here that you sit it on. And that's it. And then you put the two screws on. I pull it up. I'm a little worried because there is an arrow here that's supposed to match with this. But for some reason, it's not. Maybe I, I didn't do it tight enough, but I led... Um, I may and deal with that, make it a little tighter. And that's it. I'm gonna start the car now and it's okay. But it did tell me that it was full, so I know that it has to be bled bled and the system, the car could do it on its own. You don't have to turn it on, off, on, off, on. It actually um it does it by itself. So thank you all. I hope you enjoy this video. The other video, I hope maybe I could link it or maybe I could do something with it. But um uh that's it if you like this video do a like just so i could know that i that you watched it thank you and good luck with your bmws they are a little sensitive and you gotta be very it's like almost walking on eggshells with these cars but they're beautiful cars i love my car that's my little puppy right there and i am in love with him Although he makes me work very hard. But then again, all puppies do. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.